Good morning, guys. Welcome to my kitchen. Welcome to Dalian's Kitchen. So I've decided to make some breakfast this morning live. And I will continue to do these live because of time. I can hardly find the time to make the videos to post. So whatever I'm doing, you will be joining me as I do it live. Today is the day after Christmas. And a lot of people are still sleeping. So I'm just waking up. So let's do some breakfast together. No way. Okay. I'm just fixing this thing, y'all. I should be live now. I just want to share this with my friend. How y'all doing? Blessed Tuesday morning to you. It's a bit weird, isn't it? It's Tuesday. <laughs> Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you had a wonderful Christmas too. Yeah. Okay, go. All right, kind of off with a little glitch, but you know how it goes. We're still getting there. Now, this phone has a problem with charging. Okay, that's it. I need to open this one so that I can pay attention to your comments, should there be any. Because the live is set up on the computer and the computer is behind everything. Let's go and look for Dalian's Kitchen on this one. Jesus. Uh -uh. What is she saying? Someone says the link is not working. Let's try that again. It does work. Someone wants the link, guys. Just bear with me. I need to sort this out again. Good morning, Denise. Good morning. How you doing, girl? Good to see you guys. Let me wash my hand because I was just dealing with my phone. And yes, you can be wearing gloves and wash your hands with the glove on because it's not really a hand you're washing. Your bare hand is actually the glove you're wearing. So you can wash it. And proceed. All right. So. So today I'm going to do my breakfast. Lunch. I have here some stuff, my veg stuff, soaking in salt water. Let me pour the water off before I kill it. I need the bottom so I can get rid of the excess water in a minute. All right. Over here I have my boiled eggs. I'm going to switch the thing off because seriously that is cooked. All right, guys. So I have here some fresh mackerel and some eggs. So because I have the eggs already in the pot boiled, I only just wanted to show you. I've got them cooked here, so I won't be doing these ones. Yes? All right, so I'll place these in a bowl over here somewhere. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna do the mackerel to put in the oven so that it can be cooked quickly by the time I finish making my juice. All right, so I need to make some room. So when you're gonna do broccoli, guys, I'll explain the process from start to finish. Well, just let me do the masking and get it out of the way, then we can talk about that. 
So I have a different color mat here for the raw mackerel. So the mackerel I'm using is fresh mackerel. Fresh, fresh mackerel. All right, so the head is gone. I bought it headless, but I don't mind eating the head. So I'm going to take it off the plate. I'm going to try and cut it. This way. Some people say fillet. Is it fillet? I don't care what it is, but you know what I'm doing. You see? So I wanted that piece, that, that. Then the other piece is coming next. All right, so here I have my mackerel. I like the, this little bit and I am going to eat it, okay? So it's very simple to prepare, guys, okay? So I have over here one, 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 one season. My, this one is clean. So it's a tajin season. I bought this in Costco. But you can use anything that you want to use on your mackerel. So I'm going to put a little bit on there. And that's all I need, just one. Yeah, this one. I'm gonna squeeze some lemon. If you don't have lemon, you can do lime. There's a difference, this is lemon and this is lime, okay? And the last thing I'm going to add to my macro is a little pepper and this powder pepper. You don't have to if you don't want to. I want to, so I'm going to add it in there. So I'm going to put the pepper in my hand like that, even it out, and rub it onto the macro like this. A little more. Tap it there, rub it on, and that's it. I don't need any more pepper. And then I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of mixed herb on top of them. Yeah, it's as simple as that. I don't want anything else on it. Now, mackerel is like fish, very quick and easy to cook. All right, so I'm going to get my tray from the oven. I believe it should be very hot now. Maybe not very hot, but not cold, because I don't want the fish to stick. So I've oiled the tray, and now I'm going to place the mackerel onto the tray like that. And then the middle bit, I like the bone. So that's it there. I will remove this here and place it for you to see. I'll pop that into the sink. I'll remove these as well. I'll get my hands cleaned over here again. So I'm going to pop this into the oven. And then it should be ready by the time my broccoli is finished. Now I'm going to cover the, the tray with another one so that the, when the heat when the heat hits it, it doesn't burn my mackerel, but it's cooked inside. So I'm going to pop it in here, and then once it, the broccoli is finished, I'll show you the finish of it. That all right. So, let's get to the next stage. So the mackerel is in the oven, guys, and I'm going to do the juice. I hope you can hear me clearly as well. Now, there's something going on with that phone. Is the battery dead now, is it?
Next is the broccoli juice. All right, guys. So when you're going to do broccoli, right? First, you get the broccoli, the amount that you want to prepare. So this is one broccoli, okay? Sometimes you can get bigger broccoli. Sometimes they come into smaller sizes. So already I have over here my broccoli, the one I'm going to use today. But it's the same size as this one. So what I did, I cut it up into bits, put it to soak in salt water. Just like this, put it in, add the salt, that's the salt, add the water, blend it together as in mix together so that the salt vanishes into the water and then you leave it to soak. Now, one thing to know is that when you put broccoli into in a container with water, the broccoli tend to rise, but you want it to stay under the salt water. So you can put something on top of it. For example, here's a bowl. So I sit the bowl on top so that it keeps the broccoli under the water. If it is, if, if it happens that the, 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 the dish is not heavy enough, then you place something else on top. But this is how I do it. Maybe you have something else in mind, not a problem. But before you make the juice, make sure you wash it into salt water. This is just how I do it. I don't know if you wash with something else. So because I've already prepped my broccoli, I'm going to go straight ahead and remove this one and the water and the salt. Okay. So, broccoli and apple and lime will go into my juice with a touch of ginger. Now, let me explain this. If you have apples at home and they are stale, they're not crunchy anymore, they look like, you know, they're going frizzle. Jamaican talk. The skin of them looks like they, they are gathering, you know, wrinkles. Yeah, I think that's a good way to describe apples. Don't throw them away. You can use them to make juice. These apples, you wouldn't eat them. They look so tired. So, get the apples and dice them up. Avoid the middle bit. Okay? For example, look, the apple... They're bruised right here. This one is bruised. So if all of them are bruised, don't throw them away. They're still good. Just cut the bruised part and dice. Look at how nice they are inside still. So don't throw them away. Okay? So I'm going to use the, 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 the apple for the sugar. My son, a lot of children now. Yeah, this is important. If you have kids and they don't like broccoli in their food don't worry about it you can get it into them another way and that other way is this way you make juice with them yes so i'll show you exactly how so i have my diced apples here i have my washed broccoli here i'm going to get rid of the water yes so i'll bring forth my blender And I think I need it out some more so I can get some room. Get the blender. I'm going to make it thick, by the way. I don't want it to be watery. I want a thick green juice. So I'm going to recycle the juice. And you will see exactly what I mean by that. All right. That should be enough. Now, if you don't mind the noise, you can listen in. But if it's too much for you, please just mute the phone at this point when I start to blend. All right, so I'm going to add some ginger in there as well. So guys, my ginger was in water because I took it out of the freezer. It was frozen. If you buy a pack of ginger and you're not using it, that's okay. Just put it into the freezer. And when you want to use, just take a bit out and leave it in water to soften. All right, let me mute this phone because it keeps bugging me. All right, cool. But Jesus, where's my life? All right, give me a minute, guys. I think I just touched something that I shouldn't have touched. All right. Thank you guys for tuning in as well. So I'm going to blend the broccoli.
something is stuck on in here. Hold on. Release me. Hello Rambo, welcome in. My kitchen is open to you because you know you love your belly. So guys, I'm adding the ginger into the juice now and I'm going to take some of the apples and I'm going to add then I'm going to blend some more. Rambo, what's up? Good to see you. to put too much in there all right i can still get some more container I'm going to pour the juice in here to get some some of the other juice and more purified juice to blend the remaining apples so you get a spoon and you keep doing it until you get as much of the apple slash broccoli out of the strainer now mind you a lot of people don't mind drinking the apple and broccoli like this rambo i think you'll drink it not me you'd never get it down my throat i would puke it, it, i can't get this no it's too much guys the bits mm -mm. not me so i rest this here for a minute so i'm going to put the blender back into action and then use the juice i'm not adding any more water because it's gonna be too watery i want it to be strong yeah, and tastes very nice. I'm going to add the rest of apples into the blender here with the same blended juice that I've done already. And blend the rest. Okay? Yes, folks. So you want me? Me and me juice. Me and me broccoli juice. Broccoli juice. Fresh broccoli juice. Yeah. Don't go up with my blender, please. Please like the live, guys. Thank you so much for watching. So I'm making my fresh broccoli juice. What I have here is a blended apples, ginger, and broccoli in the strainer. I'm trying to get as much out. And this is not the final part of it. Keep watching. 
and you will see what I want to do next. Okay, let's put this bit in here. That's the bit you throw away. So I get the rest of it from here and pour in the strainer. Now, when I make this juice, you will love it. It's going to be so nice. Just a little bit of water to wash out my, my blender. Get the bits out. There you go. So let's clear this area. Next, let's move it. I don't need this anymore. Let me wipe it off. Give me a minute. And put it back underneath the counter. So I get it out of the way. Alright. So let's proceed with finishing the juice. You are going, you are going to strain it with cloth. I will tell you, yo, we are in Jamaica and I walk to you. That's exactly where I'm heading next. Yeah? Yeah, man. Straight cloth next. Yeah, we're not talking about the B cloth and the other cloth. Just juicing cloth. Yeah? Or right, I'm going to the sink for a minute and I'm coming back with my strainer. That's my strainer clean again. Stay right there. I need this container. So let me go and get it clean. So Rambo mentioned cloth, guys. So what he's referring to is the next step here. Now, I want to get all my juice out. So this bit, I'm not going to throw it away. So I'm going to go and use my cloth now. Um, the cloth that I'm using, if you're a Jamaican, I'm using that vest. You know the Jamaican type vest? So I cut a piece of a new vest and I keep it in the kitchen. So I put the broccoli in here and then I'm going to turn it, turn it to get all the juice out of it before disposing the rest into the bin. So guys, when you're going to have this juice, trust me, you will taste no bits in it because it's going to be very pure. This is how we make this juice. I don't know who's calling, but if you're watching me, I'm not going to answer you just yet. I'll return the call because I'm doing a live stream. All right, guys, so let me show you. So now that I'm finished with this one, I'm going to unwrap the cloth and show you the difference. See, that's what it looks like because I've, see that, that is soft and this is not because I removed all the juice from it. Now, let me get rid of this and come again. So I'll continue to repeat the process until I get all my juice out. This is how we make juice. Whether it's carrot juice, broccoli juice, cucumber juice. Um, the only juice that I don't do, like strain it this way, is like mango. I like mango, so I can drink drink it like smoothie. It's fine. So I'm going to do this one and proceed with the rest over there. Squeeze out the rest. I will not even try to translate what you're saying there. May I squeeze out the juice, but we don't know about the rest. Hello? Rambo, you're bad. So that's the bit I'm going to throw in the bin, guys. Saving myself going to the bin. I'll just put it into that container. I'll add the rest from the other bowl over here. And I will repeat the process. The procedure rather i should say repeat the procedure or take the same steps all right so when you're mixed when you're 
those apples it's gonna feel a bit slippery when you put it into the cloth so it's not gonna it's not gonna just strain easily but it will you just have to be patient and just take your time and squeeze gently in one area then another area until you get as much out very simple just that i'm doing it live i'm a little bit slower i can smell the mackerel going on behind me guys jeez remember you want some mackerel and my boiled egg well rather it's eggs because i have two i may eat the two of them one time y'all so i'm having a healthy breakfast today after all the junk we eat yesterday jesus and then i'm gonna lift my weights and do my t25 afterwards <laughs> yeah all right so that's the final bit there but i'm gonna give it one last strain and you'll see Ah, what is these? Did you saw some spray in my clothes? I am not have you. I know you didn't see that square, did you? Rambo said. Let me see Rambo said. The juice will be so refreshing. I mean to tell you. <laughs> Your belly too long. <laughs> Rambo. Oh my God. I'm going to eat for both of us. Don't you worry. I will have it for both of us. You know, guys, I didn't cook my chicken foot yesterday. So, you know, the chicken foot video is coming today, like, seriously. And I'm also going to use some leftover, um, some leftover chicken from yesterday to make a, to make a homemade pizza. You don't want to miss that. Homemade pizza with your leftover turkey and chicken. You can do it yourself. And if you don't have a, a, a pizza baking tin, you can use the normal baking tin to do it. Yeah, you can. I'll show you. I'm getting the cloth ready again, guys. I'm coming back. We're almost there. Final strain is coming. All right. Let me clean up the counter, guys. I think I can remove this now. All right. So what we have next is the lime i'm going to add lime to the juice so i have got one of these lime squeezer things so put it like that and then you do the lime you can use use to squeeze orange as well remember what you're saying Juice will do thanks. All right. Don't bother, don't bother, don't, 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 don't play the thing. You want the food? Have the food. <laughs> All right. So, guys, what I'm going to do now is a final strain so I can move the strainer over to here, but I'm going to rinse it off first in case any bits is on it. I don't want it in the drink. Here goes the strain again. And here goes the final strain. So you have to wash the cloth out, guys. You have to wash the cloth out. Alrighty. And then you pour the juice onto the cloth and take your time and ensure it goes through smoothly. See the difference? 
then you close the cloth in and gather any little leftover bits in here. Look at that. Look at that. So now you have a clean juice. This is all that came from it. I have to add my lime, so I'm going to open the cloth again and pour my lime in because I don't want any bits from the lime in the juice as well. I want it to be as pure as possible. So my lime is added and everything is in there. And the juice is finished. That's it. I remove the strainer. You probably ask, how come you not taste it? You know if it tastes good. We don't need to taste it. Come in, you know, most of it tastes good. I have all the right ingredients: the apples for sugar, the lime and ginger for the additional kick, and you know what else? The broccoli. Stand up like a real boss in its thing. So I pour it into the jar. And there goes my broccoli juice. Broccoli juice is finished. Yes? Yeah, let's have a glass like a wine. May I drink this? Mm -mm. No, I'm not like a bag. I'm not going get none. Lord Jesus, it's nice. Like I know it would. So I'm going to get my egg ready now for my breakfast. I'm going to dish out the breakfast. So anybody don't want to look at this stage because they're not getting any, look away. My eggs, they are already boiled, guys. So I'm going to remove them and then peel them. Then I'm going to dress my plate. All righty. So these are the eggs. We just knock it on the counter and just peel. So we do things. <laughs> and the egg is finito, this one. I'll add it to that plate. Knock it there. Some people would knock it with a spoon. Anything we catch, we'll lick it. I may even still around, but we'll lick it on the mid. Yeah. And get it to be. Crack, 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 crack. So breakfast is almost finished. This is a Jamaican way of cooking, guys. Yeah, I'm a Jamaican. And I'm eating this. Okay. Okay. So those are my eggs. Yes. You can put salt on your eggs. Some people put salt, put black pepper. Uh, what am I going to put on mine? I'll put a bit of black pepper and also a touch of that same season I put on the mackerel. But you know all the things. You need a smile, man. I can't find the other one. Let me do this. Make do with what you have. And me said that. I'm going to stick to that. Mm -hmm. Guys, me, me, not, me not eat raw egg. My egg them have to proper cook. Them, them overcook. A boil, let me see. Yeah. You know what I saw? My egg is finished off. Let me add a little bit of this seasoning over there. This you can add on on anything, guys, this season. No, no. If you have a Costco near you, get it. If you don't have a Costco, just use where you have. So that's my egg ready. Mackerel, is it ready? Let's check. Whew. The steam is fogging up my glasses. Drop my mackerel onto the plate. 
and yes, I'm going to eat the two, the bone and my one and leave the other piece for whosoever later. Oh. <laughs> I'll pop this back into the oven. I'll turn it off. Now, I'm going to add my vegetables onto the plate. Get a little bit of water in there. So this is a vegetable dish. I just wash the vegetable in. Get rid of the excess water. Rambo! <laughs> You have eyes like Scooby Doo. So my vegetable onto the plate. Yes. Yeah, man. The thing tall up, Rambo. Rambo, the thing tall up. Like, this is my breakfast, guys. Like, oh my God. There's more, you know, there's leftover. Who will to come get it? I'm going to add my, my beetroot to the plate now. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the breakfast is ready to, to get onto the table. My beetroot. That's all the thing set. Hey, don't bother dropping up. I'm gonna take you up. That's it, guys. My breakfast is finished. Yo, Rambo, come on, come on, <laughs> guys. Breakfast is finished. Mm -hmm. And the presentation don't look too bad, huh? Oh God, I go and eat this and enjoy it until. Yeah, you, you know when when they say gloves off, what they mean, right? <laughs> it's time for real business. So guys, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> my breakfast is ready. I'm going to have my breakfast. The, this bit of juice will go into the fridge. I'll just put a bit of plinkum over it. And I'll have it later. I'm going to do my pizza later. And I'm going to go live doing it. So you can join me later. This can go with the pizza later. And ting and ting. The chicken foot video will also be on later. So guys, that's the finishing. Let me take one picture. Because we're going to use it for post. So we can rub it in a Rambo face. <laughs> Rambo. The house full of food. My house full of food, yeah. It is healthy. Yeah, man. <laughs> bite my finger. I am not going to bite my finger. I'm going to eat the food on the plate. Mm -hmm. That's it. Thank you so much, guys. You know, it's not a lot that I'm going to continue doing. I just wanted to share with you the breakfast. And it's sitting right in front of you right here looking at you. Only you can't have any. Yes, so I'm going to enjoy my nice breakfast. Sorry, I can't share with you, but as time goes, who knows? We'll make it possible. All right. Rambo, bless up yourself. Thank you very much. Everyone um, who has not commented but is still tuned in, thank you. Please remember to hit the like button. I appreciate, or should I say, I appreciate love. And I'll see you on the next one later today. Live, live, live. All right. God bless, guys. See you soon. I'll see you soon. See you soon. <laughs> I have to go and end the live from the computer. So enjoy the last view before I take it away. Can I take it closer? Look on that. Can I see that? <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Keep an eye on that for a minute. <laughs> that is the breakfast. Bye, guys. Thank you.
Denise, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you, thank you. Love you guys.